Hi there, thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving it a like. It really helps me out and I really appreciate your support. Step into the spotlight as we take a closer look at the evolution of the cast of one of the most acclaimed television series of all time. From their early days in the industry to their current success, we'll be exploring the personal and professional transformations of these talented actors. As we delve into the then and now of the Breaking Bad cast, we'll also be discussing their performances on the show and how they have cemented their place in the entertainment world. From Brian Cranston's award-winning portrayal of Walter White to Aaron Paul's captivating performance as Jesse Pinkman, we'll be highlighting the incredible talent of these actors and how they brought their characters to life. But it's not just about this, we'll also be looking at their careers after the show and how it changed and influenced them. Join us as we celebrate the enduring legacy of the cast of Breaking Bad and discover how these beloved actors have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Brian Cranston is a well-known American actor and director. He began his career in the 1980s with various roles in TV shows and movies. Before Breaking Bad, he was already known for having played the role of Tim Watley in the sitcom Seinfeld and the role of Hal in the sitcom Malcolm in the Middle. His portrayal of Walter White, a high school chemistry teacher turned meth kingpin, earned him numerous awards and accolades, including four Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. At the time of the filming of Breaking Bad, Cranston was in his early 50s. He prepared for the role by studying the techniques of real-life drug traffickers and by consulting with former DEA agents. In addition, he lost over 15 pounds to better embody the physical transformation of his character throughout the series. As of 2023, Cranston is 66 years old. He has continued to act and direct in various TV shows and movies and has also written a memoir about his life and career. His physical appearance has changed since the end of Breaking Bad. He grew his hair and a thick beard, which he only kept in 2022 for the characterization of a role he played in the TV series Your Honor. Today he has returned to his previous look, and compared to 2008 he is slightly aged and his hair is turning completely white. His acting performance in Breaking Bad is widely considered to be one of the best in television history. Cranston's portrayal of Walter White is complex, nuanced, and powerful, and his ability to convey the character's descent into darkness is masterful. He was able to make the audience empathize with a character who was committing terrible crimes, and his portrayal of the character's moral ambiguity was both chilling and compelling. Anna Gunn is an American actress best known for her role as Skylar White on the AMC series Breaking Bad. Gunn was in her early 30s when she began playing Skylar in 2008, a role that earned her two Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. She reportedly did extensive research on the world of drug trafficking, as well as the psychological effects it can have on those involved. She also sought out the advice of a therapist who specialized in working with the families of drug addicts. Gunn has said that she found the character of Skylar to be very relatable and that she was drawn to the show's strong writing and character development. Gunn is currently in her mid-50s, and since Breaking Bad, she has continued to act in both television and film. She has made guest appearances on several popular shows and has also acted in several movies. She has not changed much in terms of physical appearance and hairstyle from Breaking Bad to now. In terms of her acting performance, Gunn's portrayal of Skylar was described as emotionally raw and heartbreaking. R.J. Mitt is an American actor who rose to fame for his role as Walter White Jr. in the TV series Breaking Bad. Mitt was only 14 to 15 years old when he began filming the show, making him one of the youngest actors on the set. Despite his young age, Mitt's portrayal of Walter Jr. was both powerful and nuanced. He is often credited with bringing a sense of humanity and vulnerability to the character, which helped to make him one of the most beloved characters on the show. Mid has cerebral palsy, and he used his own experiences living with the condition to inform his performance. He prepared for the role by studying his own physical movements and speaking with other individuals with cerebral palsy. This helped him authentically portray a character with cerebral palsy, which is not a common representation in the media. 
His performance in Breaking Bad was praised by both critics and audiences, and it played a significant role in launching his career. Today, at 31 years old, R.J. Mitt continues to act, but he also works as a model, motivational speaker, and advocate for people with disabilities. He has changed his physical appearance over the years, he has grown taller and more muscular, and his hairstyle and look are different too. He has also worked with various organizations to promote inclusion in the entertainment industry and to raise awareness about cerebral palsy. With his talent and determination, R.J. Mitt continues to be an inspiration to many and a successful actor in the industry. Dean Norris is an American actor best known for his role as Hank Schrader in the critically acclaimed television series Breaking Bad, despite already being a successful actor before joining the show. He was born in 1963 and was in his mid-40s during the filming of the series. He was able to effectively portray the complex character, a DEA agent and brother-in-law of the series protagonist, with a mix of intensity, vulnerability, and humor. He prepared for the role by doing research on DEA agents and their daily lives, and also by working with a dialect coach to perfect Hank's distinctive New Mexico accent. In Breaking Bad, Norris' character played a pivotal role in the series' overall story arc, and his portrayal of Hank was considered a major contributing factor to the show's success. Currently, Dean Norris is 59 years old and continues to have a successful career in the entertainment industry. In terms of his physical appearance, Dean has undergone a significant transformation since Breaking Bad. In the years immediately following the end of the series, he lost a lot of weight and returned to excellent shape. Unfortunately, from 2017 to 2018, he again neglected his physical form, gaining considerable weight. In addition to his acting work, Dean has also been involved in several philanthropic causes. He is an advocate for veterans' rights and has worked with organizations such as the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America and the Veterans of Foreign Wars. Betsy Brandt is an American actress best known for her role as Marie Schrader in the television series Breaking Bad. She was in her mid-30s when she began her role in the show, and it was her first major role in a television series. Her performance in the show was seen as authentic, nuanced, and deeply emotional. Critics were particularly impressed by the way Brandt was able to convey the vulnerability of her character, as well as her darker side. The New York Times called her performance superb, while Variety also praised her for her fierce intensity and raw emotional power. She is now in her late 40s and continues to act in both television and film. She has also appeared in other popular TV shows like Life in Pieces and The Michael J. Fox Show. Since her role in Breaking Bad, Betsy Brandt has undergone some changes in her physical appearance and career. When she first appeared in Breaking Bad, she had a more natural look, with long dark hair and minimal makeup. However, over the years, she has been seen with different hairstyles and looks for different roles. Kristen Ritter is an American actress, producer, and musician. She is best known for her role as the titular character in the Netflix series Jessica Jones, for which she received critical acclaim. She was 27 years old when she first began filming Breaking Bad. Kristen Ritter is known for her incredible acting range, and her portrayal of Jane Margolis in the critically acclaimed series Breaking Bad is no exception. In order to fully understand and bring to life her character, Ritter did extensive research and preparation for the role. Ritter stated in an interview that she read and researched extensively about addiction in order to fully understand the mindset and behavior of her character. She also met with people who have gone through addiction to gain a deeper understanding of the struggles and emotions that come with it. She played my favorite scene of the series, the one in which she is caught choking in her sleep by Walter White, who decides not to rescue her and watches her die. That scene is so realistic that Brian Cranston cried for 15 minutes after shooting the death scene. Currently, she is 41 years old and still active in the entertainment industry. In recent years, Ritter has also been involved in producing, with her production company Silent Machine. Over the years, she has been seen with various hairstyles, including dark blue, light blue, and black hair, that gives her a different look. 
She also sported a bob haircut and a pixie cut, which changed her appearance in a drastic way. Ritter has also been seen wearing different types of makeup and clothing, which have given her a more polished and sophisticated look. Her style has evolved over the years, and she has been seen in a variety of outfits and hairstyles on different red carpets, film festivals, and events. Aaron Paul is an American actor who is best known for his portrayal of Jesse Pinkman in the critically acclaimed television series Breaking Bad. He was born in 1979 and was in his late 20s during the filming of the series. Paul's performance as Jesse Pinkman was praised for effectively portraying the character's arc from a naive and confused drug dealer to a tragic and broken individual. He has been commended for his ability to convey the vulnerability and strength of his character with great nuance and authenticity. Critics have also praised his chemistry with the other actors on the show, particularly Brian Cranston. However, there have been a few negative reviews about Aaron Paul's performance. Some critics have said that his acting can be overly dramatic at times and that he struggles to convey more subtle emotions. Some have also criticized his character's evolution, arguing that it is unrealistic and that it makes Jesse less likable as the show progresses. Aaron Paul is now 43 years old. He married Lauren Persikian, a filmmaker and activist, and together they founded The Kind Campaign, a nonprofit organization that aims to end girl-against-girl -girl bullying. After the show ended, he continued to act in films and television shows, but he also took some time to focus on his personal life and philanthropic causes. In terms of his physical appearance, he has evolved from a young and fresh-faced actor to a mature and respected performer. Has maintained a lean and athletic figure, but he has also grown a bit of facial hair and his hair is much shorter. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel.